Welcome back. Next up for the Fate episodes again is Catalina. Let's get hers done here. We got another five to go. Episode six, A Young Boy's Determination. Another letter from Al arrived. Hazel had fully recovered and was bouncing about with unbridled energy. Al had returned to work on the reconstruction site and was working twice as hard to make up for lost time. Uh, is it just me, or is this writing messier? It wasn't just Vern. Not only were there more missing words and misspellings than usual, the lines of Al's letters were harsh and tangled. Evidently, he'd scrawled them in a great hurry between jobs. I got a bad feeling that next up, it's gonna be Al himself stuck in bed. I shared Vern's sentiment. This was a boy willing to pick herbs from death's very garden for his sister. There was not an ounce of self-restraint in his character. I could only hope that he would emerge from this trial unscathed. I was gonna say this feels like it's gonna end very quickly compared to what we had in Grands. Seems to be the lead into everything else going on in the other episodes here. So, episode seven, a cry for help. Reading Al's third letter made my head buzz and my hands go numb. Help! Hazel got sick again. Doctor says you don't know what's happened. The medicine we made don't work no more. What do we do? It struck me that I, a skyfarer they had only met once, was all the help these children had left to turn to. Adelina, I'm worried about Hazel. Lyria, who had been reading over my shoulder, looked as pale as death, and I thought I heard the fierce thudding of her heart. Let's head back to Folka, quickly. That's a really loud heart if you can hear it. We learned not long afterwards that the captain, who at times seemed to command a sixth sense, had already asked Rackham to set course for the city. What does he know? Al, Hazel, don't lose hope. Help is on the way. That, that's it. That's another episode. Yep. These are very short. Grants were really, I wouldn't say they were really long, but longer by comparison, but still. Wraith wing eggs? We've got the entire crew here. Um, If we're going to have the party, let's change out Grant and have Cagliostro. <laughs> Trip? We're going on a field trip. Like, my Cagliostro is quite strong now. Probably could be much stronger if I did some of the other endgame stuff, but for where we are, very strong. Very strong. Gotta remember to play around with Catalina's skills. When we arrived at Folka, Al came out to greet us. I noticed he wouldn't meet any of our eyes and ducked his head like he was hiding from the world. The doctor had examined Hazel from head to toe, but as far as his eyes could tell, there was nothing wrong with her. Hazel says all she needs to get better is some wraith ring eggs, but I... I just don't know. Al's voice was so small, I could hear the distance between us. Not physical, but emotional. He explained reluctantly that the Wraithwing was a bird which lives among the ancient ruins of Dolly Island. Well, let's go. Actually, forget it. We've made you guys do too much already. We'll figure something out. His smile didn't quite reach his eyes, which were enclosed in dark circles. The reconstruction effort must have been hounding him, and he was apparently not its only victim. Hazel had fallen ill around when Al began overexerting himself. I think I see what's going on here. Gently pushing aside Al's objections, we left to search for a wraithwing nest. The task ahead, though dangerous, was for brother as much as it was for sister. Indeed, indeed. Let's go get them Megs. Well, shall we head out? This area seems promising. Be on the lookout for tracks. But hmm? this is quite a rare find. We'd better add it to our provisions. It may come in useful later. Desert oil? Okay. Hmm. 
it really is just search. What's this? This cargo sure been roughed up. Large talon marks and scattered feathers. The culprit is probably a wraith wing. Let's see if it's left any other tracks. It is where I was going. I thought I'd search over here first, but it's where we need to go. Matches the description perfectly. That's our wraith wing. Ah! What's with all the party crashers? Stay calm. I'll get us out of this. I mean, that's fine. We could just leave them be. We've got a bird to catch. I thought it was going to be down there. But no. But no. It seemed like where it was leading after that, but no, in complete opposite direction. Always. I'll freeze them in their tracks. Ah, we can leave them be. Phantasmagoria. You are a blessing. Phantasmagoria, indeed. Alright, where I ah, uh, I saw the wings of destiny. Look, the bird. It's watching us really closely. Whoa. Looks like it's got giant talons. And a nasty temper. Emerald shield. Catalina. It's all right, Vern. I won't let that overgrown turkey hurt us. Let's go. Come back here. I'm burning up. Infinite wonder. Infinite wonder. I think it's protecting something. Of course. It's trying to defend its nest. No wonder it's so desperate. Well, we're desperate too. Hazel and Al are counting on us. No! Very well. I don't think you can take much more. I'm just wondering, where exactly is Cagliostro? She's not around at all. Weird. Nope, oh, I heard her then. There she is. Turned up for the defeat, at least. All right, take that, you big chicken. Now we just need to search the nest and collect the eggs. I can't help feeling guilty, though. We're so sorry, Miss Wraithwing. We promise we won't take more than we need. Oh, I was looking for a nest. Well, shall we call it a day? A Tuesday. We'll call it Tuesday. I took our prize to the dining hall. But weighing on me was the thought that Hazel had likely told Al a white lie. It said that one bite of a Wraithwing egg sends waves of energy coursing through your body. I guess that she wanted the meal not for herself, but for her exhausted brother. I'm so sorry. My suspicions were confirmed when I returned from the canteen to find Hazel apologizing to the crew. Catalina, we need to tell you something. Oh, we know, mate. I cut Al off. I knew speaking the words would hurt him. It was better that he didn't give sound and substance to unnecessary guilt. Oh, that's nice of you. I don't know what's troubling you, but you have to eat. It's the only way the two of you will get better. Food and comfort. That was all I could afford them. Sometimes that goes a long way. All right. Next one's then. What we got here? Fade episodes. Catalina. Two to go. Omelette of happiness. Back at the dining hall. Plates of wraithwing egg omelette were lined up on a table, wafting forth irresistible aroma. Is that really for us? Oh, yes. At my nod, Al dug in. Ow! Oh, burnt my tongue. But, mmm, so good. I love it! Muffled voices caught my attention, and I looked out the window to see a gathering crowd. Though I had only collected a basket of the famed eggs, it seemed that was enough to feed the whole city. 
Hey, Al. Heard from your sister. Sorry, I should have noticed you were working yourself to the bone. The man who seemed to be in charge of reconstruction efforts came to our table, gently. He explained that he had only now been made aware of Al's failing health. He vowed to encourage the workers to rest, so no one would overexert themselves ever again. Well, that's good then. Uh, Al, you okay, bud? You don't look so good. Vern, who had been flitting carefree through the air, came to a sudden stop. I smiled at his concern, which was well-meaning but misplaced. Al was going to be fine now. It was time for a celebration, and I had the perfect surprise planned. Oh? <laughs> Their reactions are going to be priceless. I'm assuming that's the next episode, not the omelette. Alright, let's have a look, see what this surprise is. Dessert of Legends. What the? What is that? A light dessert is the perfect way to top off a hearty meal. Stealing my way into the kitchen, I cooked up an original dish using spare ingredients and imagination. It's got purple fizzing lumps in it! When I unveiled my creation, the crew gulped in what I assume was anticipation. The people of Folka, however, were more vocal with their excitement. You're saying that the very hand that defeated the Wraithwing made this dessert? Is there anything she can't do? It was enough to make me blush. But, if I may be so bold, I don't think their praise was unearned. My dish was wholly unique in its shape, color, and smell. That doesn't sell it to me. Adelina, this is amazing! I've never tasted anything like it before! Like, imagine someone was like asking for their opinion on the food and you're like, well, it's unique in its shape, color and smell. You'd, you'd question whether or not it was good or not. Encouraged by Lyria, every last diner snatched up their spoons. Hungrily, they lifted a bite to their lips. And the moment right after, as if someone had captured the scene in a painting, they all froze. Was that meant to happen? Does it have some kind of freezing effect? There are times when people are so filled to the brim with emotion, not even the smallest physical movement is possible. For the diners, this was apparently one of those times. It seems I'm not such a bad chef after all. Take that, naysayers. I can't tell if that's a joke or not. Like, did she actually freeze them? I mean, I kind of want to see that now. Legendary food review. Kind of, kind of, kind of want to see right, if, like, yeah. there could be more information as to that one, as to what's going on there. Like, hold on. Right, oh, hold on here, hold on. Legendary food review. Right, so it looks like it was actually good. Yeah, my tongue had died and gone to... Esther Lu Lucia Flavor. Yeah. Seems like it was good. I, again, it just sounded like it could have been a joke. Like, oh no, she accidentally caused a freeze debuff on these guys and they were frozen in place, that kind of thing. But anyway, that's us done for this part and we'll have more Fate episodes in the next part. Ta-da for now.